Hi guys, it's me Spike. Uh, I know you haven't heard from me for a while. Um, I've had some medical issues and um, diabetes and I've lost a feeling in my feet and um, half hour arthritis as well. So I've gone from walking to a walking stick and now it looks like after Christmas I might be in a wheelchair. But anyway, I'm not here to tell you about my life story. But anyway. Uh, this is my 1965 Plymouth Hemi Superstock Morrow's Missile, which is, well, it's not really a Superstock. It's more like a stock kit, and they're throwing a couple of parts in and try to convince you that it is a Superstock. But uh, what I did is I turned it into an AFX car. So the wheelbase has been altered, uh, front and rear. Uh, the quarters, the quarters have been cut and moved forward. Um, the K frame, the front's been uh, chopped off and moved forward as well. So that's why there's a bit more taken out the front of the guards there to sorry to allow for the uh, tyres for the movement. And of course, these quarter panels here should be roughly about back here somewhere. Um, I mean, you know, for a super stock or an AFX car, they give you the, the decals for an AFX car, but it's not an AFX car. I mean, it's got no roll cage in it for a start. But anyway, um, I cut it all up and you need to cut your quarters, move your quarters. Then you need to get into your chassis and cut the chassis, cut a piece out, move the chassis forward. Um, the 426 and the gearbox, I suppose, are all correct. Um, what I did is uh, I put uh, fuel injection on it because what they did is they started moving the wheelbases on the cars to get better traction. Then they started playing around the motors and they went um, from carbies to fuel injection. Then they started burning nitro and then they went to superchargers. And I mean, depending on what year and whose car you look at, there's all different versions. Some cars had windscreens, some cars didn't have windscreens. Um, I've done a bit of a mix. I've put the front windscreen in but left the rear screen out because they used to let the air flow through the cabin and out the back window. Um, it's got a moon tank on the front, which I put on as well. Um, the injection uh, velocity stacks and the rear wheels are from Speed City. I got them through them. Um, I also want to thank uh, Jason because um, he helped me out with a set of um, uh, Hello Brands for the front. And also, too, I tried to do it not like a brand new shiny car. I wanted to make it look like something that had been lying around for years and they pulled out and dusted it off and just run it down the track. Um, the decals, oh, I don't know what happened with the decals. The, the decals have got good points and bad points. Some of them come out really good, some come out a bit shitty. Why? I don't know. Um, but anyway, and the other thing is too, um, because I know these guys spend hours and hours doing paint jobs and all the rest of it. Um, like I said, this is not a, a, a show car at, at the best. I mean, I don't build cars for shows anymore. I give up that years ago. It's just, you know, something's going to sit on the shelf that, you know, I've done a lot of work on. But the paintwork was all done by brush. And I've even done little, like I've done little touch-ups on it, like if the car had been knocked around and it's had little touch-ups done on it and everything like that sort of thing. Um, and uh, technology uh, bites you in the ass again. I've had a bit of trouble setting this up and the camera was backwards at one stage of the game and it's a bit blurry at one end and it's sharp at the other end, so I don't know what that is. I don't know what the story is. This is why nine times out of ten I don't usually do a talking video, but I thought I needed to explain what's been done to the car because I have people ask me questions. I, I do a car and they say, oh, how did you do this? Or, or they ask me questions, so I thought I'll get on here and explain a couple of things. Um, with the K member two, uh, because you cut the K member, which is the front end, um, and move that forward, you lose your engine mount. So 
what they did back in the day too, they put an engine plate on, which took stress off the engine mounts anyway. So I made an engine plate. It's got an engine plate in it. Uh, put a manual transmission in it. Uh, put a taco in. Put the roll cage in. The roll cage I had to make out of some bits and pieces because, like I said, it hasn't got a roll cage in it. Uh, the other thing I did too, it's not a bad kit, but I didn't like the diff. The diff looked like it come out of a, I, I don't know, but it, it just didn't look right. So I changed the diff, and uh, I also, when I changed the diff, I made it narrower so I could get the slicks tucked under and everything like that without tubbing it because they didn't actually tub them back in them days. They just narrowed the rear end and it made the wheels a bit wider. Um, the kit itself's not bad. I mean, you know, I can, I can pick faults with it, but um, I didn't like the door handles and and the back uh, lights. Um, I just wish that um, uh, the kit itself, I mean, it'd be handy if they sat down and learned something like it. For a new kit, they need to look at some of the Japanese kits where they mount things on chrome trees because... By the time you cut the back tail lights off on this thing and the door handles, um, you lose all the chrome. So, I mean, it's just ridiculous. I mean, you know, with the technology that's around these days, you'd think they would have woken up to that sort of thing and fixed it by now. But anyway, otherwise than that, it's a good kit. Um, I mean, you know, if you want to do it as a super stock, yes, sweet. But it's more like a stock, a stock car and they're just, Give you some added bits to make it look like a super stock. But depends how technical you want to get and how fussy you want to get. But anyway. But yeah, like I said, I painted it with a brush. Um, uh, Vallejo blue. And then I just put a clear coat on as well with a brush as well. So it's all, all been done by brush. I've got a couple little touch-ups I've got to do on it. But uh, anyway. Um, There'll be photos at the end, which will probably be a lot sharper and a lot clearer because I'm good at taking my photos. But like I said, I just wanted to get on and explain a couple of things about the kit and what's been done to it so that, you know, you, you sort of know what's been done to it. It's not a stock kit. It's been modified. <coughs> ah, excuse me. Um, also, too, just while I'm on here, too, I'd like to um, uh, do a bit of a shout-out to... Um, Chris from Classic Classic 101. Um, I hope everything goes all right with your cancer, mate. Uh, I've been reading all your messages and stuff like that. I hope everything works out well for you. Um, another shout out to Dr. Cranky. Um, I've spoken to Zippy Zipper um, a little while ago, and he hasn't been on the computer because uh, he's been fairly ill as well and he's moved out of home and he's in a unit by himself now but uh, he's had medical problems as well which I'm not going to go into but <coughs> he said to say hello to you um, and that's about it so anyway um, <coughs> well, now I've got the cough um, that's enough ram or not anyway I've got some other stuff that I'm doing I've, I've been like I said I've I haven't been doing a lot because of, I just haven't been feeling up to it. But um, I've got the Tom Daniels build going at the moment, which is the paddy wagon. So that'll be coming up soon. I've also got uh, the Mad Max car as well, which is from not movie number one, number two. So I'm trying to do some stress work on the paint and stuff like that on that sort of thing too. So that's about it. Um, anyway, um, uh, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to everybody. And I hope this sort of answers any questions that you might have about the kit. And um, hopefully uh, I'll, I'll see you all soon. And uh, that's it. All right. And uh, I'll put some photos up at the end. And like I said, they'll be a bit clearer. And uh, all the best for Christmas and New Year. All right, guys. I'll catch you all later. And thanks for watching uh, my videos to my viewers that I've got, which I think I've lost some. But then again, I've been around for a while. But anyway, um, I'm trying to get back in the swing of things. So anyway, all right, guys. Catch you all later. Bye.
Hi guys, it's me Spike. Uh, I know you haven't heard from me for a while. Um, I've had some medical issues and um, diabetes and I've lost a feeling in my feet and um, arthritis arthritis as well. So I've gone from walking to a walking stick and now it looks like after Christmas I might be in a wheelchair. But anyway, I'm not here to tell you about my life story, but anyway. Uh, this is my 1965 Plymouth Hemi Superstock Morrow's Missile, which is, well, it's not really a Superstock. It's more like a stock kit, and they're throwing a couple of parts in and try to convince you that it is a Superstock. But uh, what I did is I turned it into an AFX car. So the wheelbase has been altered, uh, front and rear. Uh, the quarters, the quarters have been cut and moved forward. Um, the K frame, the front's been uh, chopped off and moved forward as well. So that's why there's a bit more taken out the front of the guards there to, sorry, to allow for the uh, tyres for the movement. And of course, these quarter panels here should be roughly about back here somewhere. Um, I mean, you know, for a super stock or an AFX car, they give you the, the decals for an AFX car, but it's not an AFX car. I mean, it's got no roll cage in it for a start, but anyway, um, I cut it all up and you need to cut your quarters, move your quarters, then you need to get into your chassis and